Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to go over how you can get to your first million. Now this is going to be in depth. I'm going to cover three different ways, crafting, gathering, and neither, which of course would be flipping. And it's just to kind of help those who are struggling to start the snowball that kind of ends up happening to get to your first million and then onwards. So with that being said, let's begin. So to start, we will cover crafting, gathering, and flipping, but this is keeping everything within 50 and below. So no crafting or crafts over the, over the level of 50 and no gathering over that level of 50 as well. You don't need any master books or anything fancy. This is just the easiest bits in the game to get to your first million. I will also include team craft lists for each section in the description below as well. I will also include tips to apply to your own data center because these values are being pulled from my server and my data center as a whole, which therefore means it might be different for you. The list can help you a lot in this regard since it just scans every item in your data center and it will show you how much you'll make with that in mind. So of course, change the list, add and remove things, just apply the principles I'll tell you about to your list so you can maximize the profit you'll make. So the first section we'll go over is crafting. Now, four things you should look out for is, well, first off, the fashion report. This week was the ash mask in the head slot and this is a level 14 craft going up to around 20k and then selling at least more than 100 in one day. It is really crucial to look at your fashion report for each week and check is there any crafts that I can craft and post on my server. A lot of people will be buying and this is the perfect way to craft something that is a low level craft and make a lot of gil in return. Next is crafter and gatherer gear. This is oftentimes the best and most often sold items for low level crafters. If you can craft these items HQ as along with your normal quality types of these items, you will make a lot more go this way. The third tip is weaver and leather worker are probably the best crafters to start out with if you want to start making gal quickly. I would skip the crafting section if you don't at least have around 50 to 60 gil to invest. I would, if you have literally no gil, I really recommend gathering first and then either going to the flipping section and then the crafting section. The final thing to look out for on the crafting section is not to craft a belt because they will be, of course, removed and unlocked. But these are just the four things to look out for. You can apply it to anything, but now I'm gonna list a whole bunch of crafts from zero to 10, 10 to 20, and then 20 to 40, and then 40 to 50. This is not for each class. Like I said, Weaver and Leather Worker are the best ones. Something like Alchemist and Culinarian are not gonna net you very much guilt at the start. So of course, let's get into the items. The first item is the decorated bronze bar, but a level 16 armor craft. This is of course at high quality, but you can still post it at normal quality for just a bit cheaper. Next is the cotton scarf, a level 15 weaver craft. You can of course sell this at normal quality and high quality as well. Next is the goat skin leggings at level 19 for leather worker. And the last item in this section is the brass gorget, a yet level 15 goldsmith craft. Onto the level 20 to 40 crafts. First is the velveteen gators, a level 28 weaver craft. I would sell this normal quality and high quality because high quality versions are needed of this for the weaver class quest. Next is the old goat leather and the toad leather. Next is the velveteen chosses, a level 24 weaver craft. Then the velveteen beret, a level 29 weaver craft. Next is the silver ingot, then the silver earrings, the velveteen wedge cap of gathering, and then the oak 
Pat. Next is the 4250 bracket, and the first item is the woolen beret. All of the patrician pieces, the mahogany patents, and the cobalt ingot. So, taking a look at our list here, I crafted three of each, with the exception of the intermediate mats, meaning the leathers and the ingots. I crafted 30 of each of those and I ended up getting around 1,180,457 gil. Now I did end up spending 76,000 investment. This can be higher or lower depending on your server, but if something's a little bit too expensive, feel free to remove it. This is kind of just a push into the right direction of what you should be crafting when you want to get over that one mil when you're under the level of 50. The next section is gathering. Now, before we start, I do have a few things that I would like you to keep in mind. Gather at least 200 of the item before you leave that node. Also, pulse and stacks of 99, 50, and 20. Also, time nodes, you want to gather as much as you can, so use all your GP on the node using King's Yield and Bountiful Yield. If you're higher than 50 in your level, around 70, you should have Pick Clean, but use that along with your King's Yield. You should gather in normal quality and try to get as much as you can that way instead of aiming for high quality on each node except the ones that are expressively used for class quests. Also keep in mind that the HQ gatherables will be changed in Endwalk. Also, cordials can be bought with your grand company seals, so be sure to take advantage of that. And any food you can get for gathering, whether it would be from vendors or anything cheap you can find on the market board, can help you a lot as well. So with all that being said, we're going to break the gatherables for minor and botanist all the way from 10 to 20, 20 to 40, and then 40 to 50. This is not including any master books for gathering, this is just what you've got in your gathering log already. The first item in the list of 10 to 20 is the potter's clay. Any and all crafting shards, but for chaos at the moment, the lightning shards are selling the best and for the most. In the next section from level 20 to 40 is the walnut log. Any and all crystal, but for chaos at the moment, the wind crystal and the lightning crystals are going for the most. Next is the bomb ash. I would of course buy out the guy posting for 75 and 100 because 122 is much better than posting your entire stack of 99 for like 50 gil cheaper per each. Next is the silex. Next is the granite. Then the mithril ore. Then the wyvern obsidian. But this has to be HQ because it is needed for the minor class quests. Next is the jade, which is also has to be HQ for the minor class quest. And then finally, the alligator pair for the botanist class quest, meaning it has to be HQ for the level 40 to. 50 gatherables, we start off with the cobalt ore, the gold ore, the dark steel ore, the spruce log, the rosewood log, and finally the mistletoe, which also has to be HQ since it is for the botanist class quest. Now here is the list for all the gatherables that I mentioned, and you would earn 1,081,006. Now, it does say spending up there 400k, but you're not spending anything to gather these other than if you do pay for cordials and gil and food for gil. But other than that, this list will net you 1 million gil. And of course, the list and the other list are in the description below. And the next and final section is vendor flipping. Now, this is for people who don't have a crafter or a gatherer or just don't feel like investing that much time into something like that. I highly, highly recommend flipping. I already have an entire video on how to go from 10k gil to around more than a million, but this is kind of, this is going to kind of be more condensed and a little bit more updated. But if you still want the full breakdown, I recommend watching that video first. But to start with, we're gonna start with the investment of only 30k gil. And the first item is, of course, the copper ore. It is sold so often 
so much at a time and it is only 2 gil per one but on my server it's getting sold for 27 gil at a time next is the maple lumber the vendor price is 9 gil but you can sell it for around 50. next is the quicksilver it is 4 gil per one for the vendor but you can sell it up to 100 gil per one the next item is rubber it is 13 gil from the vendor but you can sell it for 54. next is the rock salt you can buy it for 3 gil and sell it for 90. now in my opinion the best stuff is the gear now the hemp and pantlets are going for 28k per one but you can buy it from the vendor for only 39 gil this also goes for a lot of the race gear, such as the Viera pantlets, the Viera chest wrap, and the Mikode separates. Now, what I would keep an eye on from here on out is any crafter or gatherer gear or any cute vendor bot gear. You can easily flip that way for a very little investment. Stuff like the Velveteen crafter and gatherer sets is a good place to start because such as the Cody of crafting here, it is only 1k gil for a normal quality chest piece, but you can sell it for 20k. And it's not just gear either. There's a lot of housing items that you can flip that you can flip. The best ones that I found is the Eastern Wisteria. You can buy it for 7k gil and sell it for 55k. So when you start getting to the 100k mark and onwards and want to push past a million, I recommend looking for two things. Look for items that are not crafted often and sell slowly, but sell for a lot such as this miner's shirt it's not crafted often and it sells quite slowly but if you can catch someone posting it for 20k or 15k you can easily sell it for something like this 250k this can range from items all the way from level 50 to 80. otherwise look for items that sell quickly but do require an investment to craft and i mean something like the crafted trial weapons here i bought three weapons for 30k 25k and 25k and i ended up selling these items for around 70k it's bought more often than the other stuff but it still requires a bit of investment to start crafting so that's how you can reach a million gil through three different ways I hope this can help you snowball into that sweet, sweet 10 million and then 30 million, 50 million. I will go over ways to get to your first 10 million, first 50 million, and maybe even a showcase of what you can spend that all on. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. You all keep the channel going. If you would like to come and join us on Twitch, I stream every Monday and Friday, GMT plus 3. So if you want to craft together, I hope to see you there. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.